Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how I made a glued hairline for Hawks. Um, it's fairly easy, very time consuming though. Um, yeah, I hated myself every second I was making this wig, but it looks good. Um, there's a few things that I would change uh, since this was my first time making a glued hairline. Um, yeah, anyways, uh, let's just jump right into it. Um, another thing you will need is hair wefts. Um, make sure that these wefts are the same color and type of weft in your original wig, just because it will be very noticeable and it won't blend into the wig very well if it isn't the same material. I would highly recommend getting one of those wigs that come with pigtails. Uh, you can get pretty cheap wigs with pigtails. Um, this is a really cheap, like, $15 wig that came with two pigtails. Just prep the pigtails by combing through it, and then after you're gonna want to actually take the weird netting off the little clamp thing. Um, I'm so bad at this. I don't know why I'm so bad at taking wefts off of the clips. I, I need to learn how. I've done it multiple times, but I can't figure it out for whatever reason, so hopefully you're better at this than I am. <laughs> Once your little pigtail thing is off the thing and it's combed nice and smooth, you're gonna actually want to seam rip all of the tiny wefts out of that netting. Please take your time with this. Don't rush it. Don't just cut it out because it's not worth it. <laughs> it makes it so much easier if you just take the time. Um, this project personally took me pro like a very, very long time. I don't know how long. Maybe just because I'm slow at working. I don't know. Um, and I also hate working with wigs. I, I don't know why I did this project, because I absolutely hate working with wigs. Just hair in general. It's just, it gets everywhere and it's annoying and it's like that. <laughs> so now we're actually going to get working on the actual wig. Uh, don't get too excited yet. Not quite yet. Um, make sure to pin all of the hair back. I didn't really have bobby pins. So I just use hair ties, whatever works. Just quickly put it back. You don't need it fully slicked back yet. And then you're gonna grab some felt. It doesn't really matter which color. I just chose white because it'll blend in pretty well. Pin that down on the hairline so there's, you know, some overlapping and then trace out what you want the hairline to look like. Take your time, please use references. Okay, this this step is very, very important. You can redo it if it doesn't look right. Just make sure it looks okay. <laughs> just get a picture, get a picture of your character, and just roughly trace it out, right? Just, it doesn't need to look exactly like it. Just please trust me on this. Be careful where you put your hot glue guns, please. <laughs> I do this too much. <laughs> just be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, once it's all traced out and your finger is not burning as much, uh, just start cutting it out. Um, cut it a little bigger than you would like, just so you can actually trim it down later instead of not having enough and having to redo the whole thing. It just makes it easier. And after that, just uh, you can sew it or hot glue it. I was feeling lazy, so I just hot glued it. It sticks perfectly fine. Once it's all glued down, you're gonna redo the hair, okay? Just slick it back as much as you can because we're actually gonna begin gluing and if it's not flat, um, the wig will look weird when it's done. <laughs> yes, I am a cosplayer, okay? You may not believe me, but I've been doing this for like four years, so... <laughs> So, I didn't want to go out 
to the store, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, and the only glue that I had is Gorilla Wood glue, okay? And you may be wondering, there's no wood. Yes, there isn't wood. Basically, you can you can use wood glue. Um, it's kind of a pain to work with, I'ma be honest. Not not the best thing, um, but it's permanent, okay? And when I say permanent, I mean you are never getting those off the hairline. This is <laughs> This is permanent, okay? And that's what I wanted. I wanted to be able to wash this wig and still have it. Still have the hairline perfectly on there. And that's what I achieved, okay? Uh, here are a list of products that are more commonly used for gluing hairlines, but this is just what I did. So now that we're actually gluing, um, what you want to do is kind of cut your wefts into little strips, right? because you're not gonna make one long strand of just hairline. You're gonna do multiple little sections of hairline, which takes a really long time, but it, it looks better, okay? And it's more precise as well. There's two ways you can go about this. Glue the hair and wait for it to dry completely and then glue it on. Or you could Put the glue on, wait till it's a little tacky, and then put it on. Um, I would recommend the second option. Uh, I did both just to see what would work better. Waiting until it completely dries did not work for this, for me personally. It, you couldn't move it, you couldn't bend it, uh, you couldn't blend the pieces in together. It was just a hassle. And, you know, and when it dried, you didn't really have control over which direction the hair actually dried in especially because mine was curly okay that being said the way i did the rest of this wig is i waited until it was a little tacky put it on blended the pieces together that were already on there kind of just you know made it good and hot glued them on okay so there was a mixture of wood glue and hot glue uh keeping it on so it's stuck <laughs> Uh, I would also recommend having a little bowl of water and some paper towel because if you do not rinse your hands with the leftover glue on your fingers, it will become tacky and then little bits of it will come off on your next strand of hair. And it doesn't look good. <laughs> it's not, sh like, flat, it's kind of, you can see the bumps, it's just, you know, so just dab your fingers in there just a little bit and then get all the little crusties off and then just dry your hands a little bit you don't even really need to dry your hands actually and then you can just start your next weft um please be patient just takes forever but that's what you signed up for i don't know why i have to keep telling you <laughs> if you're making this right now it is going to take forever please be patient okay if I had to suffer, you have to suffer too. That, that's how this works. Um, now you can take off your wig. Ah. So, <laughs> parts of my wig head got glued to my wig. <laughs> that was a fun time. Um, yeah, those are really hard to get on. Uh, uh, what is this project? Um, yeah, so, uh, just, uh, if, I don't know if this will happen to you, but if it does, just, just scrape it off. I had to scrape it off with scissors, because it did not want to come off. So, also, I'm watching Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil, I know you're not watching, but I love you, okay? I love you so much. And now, get your reference picture, please. Please get a reference picture. Reference pictures are so important. They're more important than you would think, okay? Anyways, um, grab your reference picture and start cutting out the hairline. This takes forever. It's a lot of pressure. Just, just breathe. It's okay. You'll get through this. And if you fuck it up, then I don't know.
yeah and um when once your hairline's all nice and done i went over with a coat of wood glue just to make sure that none of you know it wasn't gonna fray or come off uh just to kind of seal it completely and yeah um i was gonna style this wig and then i started and then i'm like i don't know how the fuck to style wigs so i left it how it is you know it works for hawks um yeah but then after that you can style your wig how you like I hope this tutorial helped you, um, I don't know how to make tutorials, I don't know why I keep making them, um, yeah, so if you do make a hairline, or if you do make a glued hairline, just send me pictures, you know, just let me know, it, it'd be fun to see you guys' stuff if you make them, I don't know if you will, but it'd be nice, um, yeah. Yeah, I hope this helped you. I hope you have a good day, morning, night, evening. I don't know what time it is. Um, remember to stay hydrated, have some food. Yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye. That was bad. I don't know how to do outros. Okay, bye. <laughs>